Okay, so I'm gonna try and make this a relatively brief video, gonna try to keep it brief, uh, about the lineup for our national selections here in Norway uh, for the 2014 Eurovision Song Contest. Today is Tuesday, March 11th. Uh, our national selections were complete... No, our semi-finals, the national selections, the lineup was complete on Sunday, March 9th. Um, and I'm just gonna talk really briefly about that, what I think and what, who I hope will win here in Norway next weekend, Saturday, uh, March, what, 15th, I guess? Um, we had a different system this year, three semi-finals, hour long, um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday nights, with five contestants in each, and uh, three of the five went on to the final, which will be Saturday night, a week after, you know, first semi-finals weekend, then final weekend. Um, this is the first time they've done it like this. Uh, for the past few years, we've had, uh, like, the Swedish system with traveling semi-finals week after week for, like, four weeks in different parts of the country. Um, but the ratings have been falling for the past couple of years, so now they wanted to try something new with this system, and the ratings have never been worse, literally never, as long as we have had national selections for the EC. Um, I think the reason was partly this whole thing with the three semis in one weekend, people weren't used to it and weren't paying attention, uh, partly the format just really did not work. Um, there were no established artists. Linnea Dala, I guess, relatively established, but she's not a star. There's no one with any star power in the lineup at all. Um, they had... You know, the mood didn't seem... It wasn't very contagious. If you watched it Friday and you're not a big fan, you probably wouldn't tune in again, I would think, because it's obviously that there were lots of empty seats in the theater, and... There was no excitement coming through the TV screen. Um, the hosts, uh, Eric Sulbakin, he's good, but he's a little too... I don't know. I, I just don't think he's... He didn't strike the right note, in my opinion. And Yannis Gavlan, the female host, just... Ugh. If she loses her place, if she forgets what she's saying, she totally messes up, like, every single time. Um, the two of them are just annoying. And... The biggest beef I had, which I think a lot of people will agree with me with, was the judges panel. So it was basically like Idol or X Factor in that they had a panel of judges, but it was totally pointless because these judges, uh, they had already, they were the same people who had already, you know, they weren't judging even. They were just telling, not the audience even, but Eric Sulbakin, the host, what they thought of the songs. But of course they liked them, because they were the same ones who had chosen the 15 contestants in the first place. So they were like the original jury, choosing from the, what, six, seven hundred uh, entries that came in. And now they had to sort of review the same songs that they themselves picked, and of course they liked them. Uh, so, musically, it was a good show. We have a good lineup this year, but the way the show was made, uh, just was not good. Uh, bad misjudgment uh, on our broadcaster's part. But anyway, the songs. Uh, I think that mostly the right songs got through to the final. Um, there are really only two standout songs. Um, they both got through, got through, of course. Um, I was a little disappointed to see that only English language songs went through. There were two uh, Norwegian language songs as well, and I do like people singing in the vernacular, but those did not get through. Um, I guess, deservedly so, but still, it would have been nice to have at least one contestant singing in Norwegian in the Norwegian national selections. F final. <laughs> um, I think that we absolutely have to choose either High Hopes from Semi Number One, performed by Linnea Dalla. I don't remember who the songwriters are. Sorry. Um, I should look that up, but I haven't done so. Uh, we should send either High Hopes or the last song uh, and the winner of the third Semi, Silent Storm, performed by Carlis Spin something. 
Um, High Hopes was a really good entry. It was a beautiful song. Uh, she's a very professional performer. Uh, and she did a really good job. She had a great outfit and looked very striking on stage. And I think that's the kind of performance that we can do well with. Uh, Simon Storm is a fantastic song. And he performed it with so much emotion. Uh, he has a gorgeous voice. Um, that's another, that sort of genuine emotion appeals to a lot of the audience internationally. So those two songs are the ones that we're not going to win with either of them. Uh, because they're not what you might call catchy. Uh, I watched all of it. I could not hum these songs now, literally to save my life. And it's only been two days since this guy, what's his name, won with Silent Storm. Won his semi, got the most votes in his semi. So, catchy is not the word. Uh, but still, quality entries that, while they won't win, will allow us to hold our heads high. Uh, and hopefully we should be able to do pretty well. So far with this lineup, internationally, we should easily do very well because... Sheesh. Um, I am worried though that we're not going to choose either of these songs. We're going to choose the entry called Heal, performed by a uh, young immigrant guy, Mo. Um, he was at Utoya, he survived the shooting, but his best friend was killed, so we should all feel sorry for him. And he's an immigrant, uh, he's from Somalia originally. Uh, so he has sort of those bleeding hearts, interest boxes checked off uh, and I'm just gonna say the song there's nothing wrong with the song and he performs it pretty well uh, it's it's standard issue Eurovision pop so there's nothing very special about it but there's nothing wrong with it but if we send him I'm pretty sure we're gonna bomb uh, yeah it's not a good idea to send a black person I'm sorry to say that um, but that's reality uh, I was not upset at all when we sent um, uh, Haba Haba with Stella Mwangi, performed by Stella Mwangi. Uh, I think that's a great song, I still listen to it. Uh, and it was so cool to be the first country to perform in Swahili. <laughs> uh, but I was totally unsurprised when we bombed. Um, there, there was really not much else that year that we could have sent that would have done much better. Um, unless maybe with the Disney ripoff uh, we could have managed, but... It was not at all a bad song, and it had a lot of personality, it stood out, but people in Eastern Europe are not going to vote for a black singer from Norway. Or if they are, then only a tiny fraction of them, and nowhere near enough to actually get anywhere. So I think if we're going to blow our own chances, and call me a racist as much as you want, but if we're going to blow our own chances by sending a black person, I have nothing against black people. Uh, for the reason that they're black, there are, if I have anything against a person, it's because of that individual, uh, and you can be a shithead no matter the color of your skin. Uh, but feel free to call me a racist. In my country, that label doesn't mean anything anymore, uh, so feel free to call me one. But if we're gonna blow ourselves out of the water by sending a performer that will put a lot of people off, unfortunately, that will be the case. Uh, then it should be with a really good song that we can be really proud of. And this is just a standard issue pop song. So I want to see either High Hopes or Silent Storm. Uh, Silent Storm, preferably. Because his performance was touching and I think it's going to be able to reach out to people and get us votes on that. Uh, but I would also not be displeased with um, what I think was the uh, runner-up in the third semi, El Cuero. With their song, let's see, Ain't No Love in the City No More. Because that was a rock song before my rock band, and that would be really cool to send that. We wouldn't stand a chance with it, uh, but it would be cool just to send something like that that's a little out of the ordinary uh, that we haven't really sent before. So, um, Siren Storm, ideally, High Hopes, my second choice, Ain't No Love in the City No More. Um, yeah. We have several others that we don't have to be ashamed that all the songs this year are actually good enough that we will not 
have to be ashamed no matter who wins. I will say that. Um, there's no horrible singer, there's no ridiculous choreography or presentation, there's no really shitty song. So this year, um, I'm really pleased with our lineup actually. They've managed to, the show itself wasn't good, but the lineup certainly um, we can't complain about. And you know, people saying, oh, there's no uh, big name in the lineup. Well, that is only an close problem when they're trying to get viewers in Norway. But nobody knows who anyone is in Norway anyway. When you get to Copenhagen, nobody's going to know any of our supposed stars uh, who would be willing to take part in this. So, you know, it's not going to matter in Copenhagen anyway. It's just mattered for ratings uh, in Norway. Um, I think we, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up sending this young guy Mo, um, and if we do, I certainly won't be ashamed of him or of his song. Um, it's, there's nothing wrong with the song. It's a fine pop song. Uh, they'll fit right in, and that nobody will remember, and I think that he, as the performer, um, will ruin our chances with that song. Um, yeah. Uh, there's really not that much to choose from because there's no standout, no real standout. There are a couple that are obviously better than the others, but nothing like, there's no euphoria in this lineup. Um, but still, I'm happy with it. Fingers crossed for uh, Carl Espen, what's his name, and for Linnea Dalla. Uh, in a week from now, we'll already have decided. So, good luck to everyone. I'm sure they'll put in great performances and it'll be a much better show than these three semis that we've had, because frankly, they were pretty dull. And Enrico will have to seriously rethink their concept for next year's concert be contest, because uh, uh, the uh, idol X Factor ripoff thing, it really doesn't work. Good luck to, uh, hopefully, Carl Espen on Saturday, March 15th. Fingers crossed for a silent storm.